What's up, fam? This is Ock the Barber. Yo, check this out. Um, today we got a video. We're going to react to this video. And it's very informative. For all those who didn't understand, for all my young G's, I know my OG's should know. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know my OG's, they should know about this, you know, the history of this. But um, I know y'all all heard, you know, the term buck breaking. So today, I'm going to show y'all a little, you know, a little information on that. I just want y'all to check this out, you know, and it's going to break that down for you, all right? No more talk. Let's go ahead and um, let's get up in this. Let's go. Buck breaking was mainly utilized in the Caribbean. It was used against enslaved men who were seen as defiant. The process included forcing the male slave to bend over a tree stump, drop trowel, expose his bear behind while it is propped in the air. The slave was then flogged to tenderize the flesh for the sodomy that followed multiple times. This form of punishment was done in full view of the slave family and friends to instill fear in the hopes to prevent future rebellion. Men of bondage who were victims of this inhumane, sadistic, homoerotic, emasculating punishment often ran away from the plantations or killed themselves as the humiliation was much too strong to overcome. Look what our people done been through. You see what I'm saying? Look what our people done been through. And look how they do, they doing the same thing now. It's just modernized. You know, I want y'all to pay close attention and look at the parallels between then and now. Nothing's changed. It's just the same thing. It's just modernized. So pay close attention. The sodomy was often performed by a white man who traveled from plantation to plantation to rape male slaves. Sex farms allowed multiple slave owners to gang rape male slaves as punishment for any supposed wrongdoing. Homosexuality in this era was not a popular pastime, yet raping male slaves as a form of plantation punishment was somehow acceptable. Yo, is y'all checking this out? Yo, y'all better pay attention, man, and wake up, man. Ain't nothing changed. Buck-breaking is typically left out of the history books due to its taboo nature of male-on-male -male rape. Society has ignored any testimony to male-on-male -male rape until only recently. Sexual violence used to project fear can be a powerful tool of manipulation. Weaponizing sexuality can debilitate one's core self-esteem and disable their sense of community. Buck-breaking was a means to squash rebellion before it was even conceptualized. Families of the enslaved bucks were forced to bear witness to the sodomy, ensuring there was no will to be defiant or rebellious. Sexual mutilation, including castration, were other forms of punishment for those with stronger will. These acts solidified the mental dominance white men needed to tame their bucks into obedient, working slaves. Emasculating male slaves physically was the final step to subdue. And see, that's what it's all about. They trying to emasculate our, our young G's now. You know, they took the fathers out the households. You know, they, they doing this now, man. They been doing it and they they going full throttle. You know, we gotta get we gotta teach our young men to be men. You see it all our all our young boys is on um 
you know, a lot of them's up there, if they ain't killing each other, you know, they they twerking. Or they dressing like females, man. I mean, come on, man. We need strong men to protect our women in our community. And they trying to weaken our men or lock them up or have them kill each other. Y'all better pay attention, man. It's all emasculation. You, the defiant buck. Yo, so check this out, man. Like I said, they, um, you know, they letting us know what this is all about. You know what I'm saying? And, um, we need to pay attention because, uh, they still doing it. They just doing it in a different manner, but the same principles of that whole situation is still applying because we still being emasculated, you know, at an alarming rate. Believe that. So just, just something for y'all to think about. You go ahead and comment, share, subscribe, you know, and, um, uh, Y'all pay attention, keep your head up, and we gotta change. We gotta we gotta change this whole thing that um is going on with our people. All right, all right. I'ma holler at y'all. Ock out.